Hello and welcome to a new reading vlog. I actually just filmed the outro for my last reading vlog because there was just an issue where I'm using a new camera. This is only like probably my fifth time filming on it. So I had been fiddling around with the settings for video quality and I accidentally changed it to like 640. Like so it was like a square and it was just really bad quality. So I had to refilm that. So now I literally just shifted the camera over slightly to the left. And now here we are for a new week and a new reading vlog. So I'm pretty excited for this week because it's kind of the first week of the new year for me. Obviously it's not actually the first week of the new year but my sisters have gone home and everything is back to normal. So in that sense it's finally where I can start kind of working on my new year's goals not resolutions. I don't like setting resolutions because for me a resolution is something that I'm not going to keep up with and I usually by February am done with it but for me goals that's something that I can work towards throughout the year and I don't have to kind of just like cold turkey switch everything if that makes any sense. That being said I have big plans for today. First plan is to finish editing last week's reading vlog. All I have to do is add that outro in. I have to put a thumbnail and then I have to upload it and then it's all done. So that shouldn't take too long. Then the second thing that I need to do is revisit my writing project because 2018 is going to be the year of writing. I want to try and achieve my longest ever dream and goal of becoming a published author this year so I really need to start dedicating the time to it and stop being afraid and just kind of go in head first and do it. So I had started last year for NaNoWriMo. I got like 30,000 words into a project and I'm going to revisit it today, see how I feel about it, tweak whatever I need to and I think it's going to be nice to revisit it without the pressure of NaNoWriMo so I can just kind of like do what I want. If I want to change things as I'm going along then I can do it. So I'm interested to see how I'm going to feel about it now that I've put it down for a month or longer than a month actually. The next thing that I really need to do is I need to film today. So I haven't filmed in a very very long time. I just kind of ended up taking last week off and not putting up a new video. So today I definitely need to film and I'm hoping to film more than one video. I'm definitely going to get my January TBR done and that one needs to be edited as well and then I think I might do a Christmas book haul and I don't know when all these videos are going to go up but I have a bunch of videos that I want to film and want to get up so I'm going to try and do that and I think I'm actually going to film on this camera and see if I like it more than my other camera. I don't know. One of my major struggles with finding kind of my groove with writing I guess is balancing reading and writing because I have so many books on my TBR like I'm facing my bookshelves right now and there's so many books here that I really want to read but I also want to have the time to write but I'm just going to have to try and find a balance but that being said I'm going to tell you about the books that I'm currently reading. So first of all I'm reading Even the Darkest Stars by Heather Fawcett and I am about 100 and something 130 pages into this. It is going by really quickly. It's a very quick read. I'm not too sure how I feel about it yet. I have pretty mixed feelings so we'll see how I feel about it in the end. And then I'm also listening to the audiobook for The Thousandth Floor by Catherine McGee which I had started sometime last year. I want to say in like November or October and I ended up putting it down just because I ended up listening to The Goose Girl and then marathoning that series. So now I'm picking this up again and I'm enjoying it. I don't love it, but as far as my feelings for sci-fi go, which are usually pretty mixed just because I'm not a huge fan of sci-fi, I'm enjoying it for what it is. Now I don't know what audiobook I'm going to move on to next, but I think as far as a physical read, I'm going to move on to The Cruel Prince by Holly Black because I've had this arc for a while and I haven't picked it up yet, but this has been all over all of my bookish social media. People just love loving this book. I've never read a Holly Black book but I definitely feel like the hype is there for this one so I think I'm going to pick this one up next and then after that I'm probably going to move on to some historical fictions because winter is when I love reading fantasies and historical fictions like high fantasies and historical fictions and I have so many historical fictions right now so I'm hoping to get to some of those this month. But now I'm gonna go and edit last week's reading vlog so I can be on track for a productive day. So it is slightly later I have finished editing my reading vlog I'm just about to upload it and I'm just about to get filming. I have like my light all set up and everything and we're gonna get going. I am ready but I got a package. So I pre-ordered a bunch of stuff last year that is coming out this year because for work we had a staff appreciation event where you get 40% off instead of our regular discount. So I just pre-ordered a bunch of books and I have no clue what this is because I don't even remember what I pre-ordered. Oh I didn't realize this came out in paperback already but it is the Wish Granter 
pre-order by CJ Redwine, which I definitely don't remember pre-ordering, but I'm excited to have it. So this is the sequel to, it's somewhere up here, The Shadow Queen and their companions. And this one is a retelling of Snow White. This one is a retelling of Rumpelstiltskin, I believe. So I'm very excited because I'm super into retellings and that's what I like reading around springtime. So I'm preparing for spring. What can I say? It's just winter, but I'm preparing. The spines look very pretty together. I'm all pumped up, man. I haven't filmed in so long, like literally since I don't even know, beginning of December or something like that. So I'm like ready to go. So it's about 3.30 and I just finished filming. I'm just putting away my stuff. I ended up filming three videos, I think. I'm just gonna put the camera down because I'm gonna put books away while I'm doing this. But first video I filmed took me kind of longer than I expected it to to film it just because I haven't filmed in so long. So I was kind of out of season, you know? So I kept on like tripping up on my words and stuff, but I did end up getting a few videos filmed. I would have been done sooner, but my camera battery died halfway through. I actually tried using this, my new vlogging camera to film. I'm not sure how I like it. I don't know. We'll see if I end up just using this camera to film. But now I'm going to just get my room back to normal because one of my things that I want to do this year is make sure I'm not cleaning my room all the time. I want to just be good at like cleaning it as things go, if that makes any sense at all. But I don't know. I want to try and like not have it get out of control so then I can just clean it up a little bit every day and then I won't have to do like a massive cleanup thing if that once again makes any sense. But I do have to get all the footage uploaded because I do have to get these videos edited as soon as possible. One of them in particular needs to be edited today. So I'm going to do that. Right after I'm done this, I'm gonna go out and shovel just because there's a little bit of snow that needs to be shoveled. I haven't really had any reading time today, so I'm hoping that I will have some later. But I wish that I could have filmed more. There's quite a few videos that I want to do in this month. I wanted to do a video about all the books on my TBR and like divide it by genre and then show you guys all the books on my TBR just so you can see what I'm going into 2018 with. And then I also still have to film my bookshelf tour which ugh, I'm gonna have to take like a day to do that one just because it takes so long to do and I've always done it in January so I'm probably gonna have to film that next week or a little bit later this week and at least I can film the intro another day and then like where I have a face on and everything and then just film the other thing whenever. I don't know it's just such a pain because you have to like move the tripod for every shelf and like it's just oh it's honestly it will take me all day to film that video and then the editing is even worse so ugh, not looking forward to that. I do love watching bookshelf tours and everything but that's why I only do it once a year is because it's literally like a commitment. I feel like I'm being watched. I wonder why. Look at this creeper. But now I'm going to go and finish what I have to do so I can shovel before my mom gets home. Time to shovel! So I just finished shoveling. It wasn't too bad. It's just like not cold out. So a lot of the snow has melted, but it's slush, so it's super heavy. So it was quite the workout. But look at this little angel. He is so happy in his basket. Say hi. So happy. What are you doing, miss? Yeah, that's a pom-pom. Don't eat it! Oh my god, no! We can't have nice things! <laughs> oh my god, stop. Good girl. No! Look at this boy, an angel, and then you. Oh my god. But we've been in like a deep freeze for a while where I live. Like, I want to say since before Christmas because it's been super, super cold. So I'm glad that it's warming up, but then it gets all slushy and nasty. So we're at like an awkward in between phase at the moment. Everything is a toy. Now I'm gonna go and finish cleaning up some stuff. Hello and happy Tuesday. So it's almost one and I'm going to work for one o'clock, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick update because I finished listening to the audiobook for The Thousandth Floor by Catherine McGee. I had kind of mixed feelings throughout it, but by the time it came to the end, I was really invested in the characters and everything that was happening to them. And I ended up really enjoying it. I would say that it's like a 3.5, maybe a 3.75 star read. I really liked it. It was super cool and it's definitely like every 
everyone says it's like futuristic gossip girl and it's kind of sad because like no one really has a happy story so it was an interesting read and definitely one of my favorite sci-fis that I've read and I don't read a lot of sci-fis but I did really enjoy it so it is one o'clock in the morning and I stayed up late obviously and I ended up finishing even the darkest stars by Heather Fawcett I ended up giving it a three out of five stars I found that it kind of dragged I loved the world and everything but I just felt like it took a really long time for the story to really get going and I found it quite predictable which is something that doesn't happen to me often but the big plot twist like I saw when I was marking it as currently reading on Goodreads that all the reviews were saying oh those last hundred pages blah 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 like the twist I predicted the twist so I was like kind of disappointed by that and I was really annoyed because my one thing I love when books have like animals and have animal companions and stuff like that and this book has that but one of my pet peeves is when bad things happen to the animal companions and there's really no reason for it it just annoys me like why even have them there then it just makes me sad so I was kind of annoyed by that but it was a good read it's definitely a perfect fantasy for winter time since it's in the mountains and cold setting and stuff like that there's even literally a part with evil snowmen so I do think that it's definitely perfect for this time of year but I unfortunately didn't enjoy it as much as I had hoped I would so since it's one in the morning I haven't picked up anything else yet I'm not sure what I'm gonna read next I think I'm going to pick up the cruel prince but we'll see good morning it is Thursday I didn't film any updates yesterday Yesterday, not for any particular reason I just didn't but I ended up picking up the cruel prince by Holly Black like I said I thought I was going to and I am a little bit more than a hundred pages in I'm like just past the hundred page mark I am enjoying it so far I don't really have too many thoughts just because I'm not that far in but we'll see I'm just so curious because everyone has been talking about it and I don't think I've seen like any negative reviews so I'm very skeptical about that but today I have the day off I've worked the the past couple of days and today don't have to work so my original plan was to film some stuff but I kind of woke up later than expected because I kind of have messed up my sleeping schedule so I've been going to bed really late and then waking up really late so I need to try and fix that but since I woke up late I didn't have time to shower and like let my hair dry so I'm not going to be able to film anything where you can see my face so kind of have two options for how today is gonna go now so first I can so I I can either edit a bunch of stuff like I can start editing this reading vlog and I have a couple of other videos that I can start editing or I can film my bookshelf tour which I can film the part where like you don't have to see me because when I'm actually like showing the books and stuff I'm not on camera at all so I can just film that today and then film the intro and the outro whenever I'm actually filming other stuff where you can see my face the only problem is it's almost 11 now I think yeah almost almost 11 in the morning right now and a bookshelf tour is super time consuming. I'm probably gonna have hours worth of footage and my window in my room is being replaced today and they're coming at three to do that so I don't know if I'll have enough time to film the bookshelf tour and I know that seems ridiculous because that's a long like a <laughs> really long amount of time but I honestly don't know if I'll have enough time. I would really like to try and do that because then that's a huge thing like like off of my plate that I have to do. That is probably what I'm going to try to do and then even if I get most of it done today and I have to do the rest another day, it is what it is. So I do have to get today's video uploaded. I just have to make a thumbnail for it and then it's good to go. So I'm going to do that now and then I'm going to film the dreaded bookshelf tour. Hello. I don't think I've updated in a little while but it is Friday I think. For some reason I thought it was Saturday for a second there but it is indeed Friday and I am continuing with The Cruel Prince. I'm about 100 pages into it I believe and I am liking it. I don't really have much of an opinion so far actually but like it's good but I have kind of decided to put it down for a little bit in favor of reading the annotated Brothers Grimm because as I've mentioned I want to get back to my writing project and I feel like I just need a little bit of inspiration and I'm kind of seeking some inspiration from traditional fairy tales so reading this I think is going to be a really big help. I was listening to audio recordings of some of the fairy tales but I ended up opting to just read this book and then the rest of the Grimm's fairy tales because this doesn't have all the fairy tales the rest of them I'll listen to on audio or just read but I think for this month I'm going to read this and then read the classic fairy tales annotated edition that I have and the Hans Christian Andersen 
one that I have. So I think those will really help me. I just, I love fairy tales and I find that they do inspire me to write a lot. So I think that these are going to be super helpful. Tomorrow, the plan is to film my bookshelf tour. I actually filmed it already <laughs> on my other camera, but then I posted my first video where I filmed on this camera and you guys really liked the quality and everything. So I think I might film on this camera from now on. I'm not really sure yet if I actually will, but we'll see if I end up actually doing that. But I think my bookshelf tour I do want to try and film on this camera. I think that it might be good. If not, I'll just go with the old footage. But my room is a mess right now, but it's not my fault. I have been doing really well with my kind of New Year's thing where I clean up right before I go to bed every night, but I got a new window, so you can see my window looks kind of funny right now, but that's just because got a new window and since then my desk has moved because it needed to be installed so I haven't put everything back because I'm working on dusting my shelves since some dust from the window installation ended up everywhere so I just have to finish where you see the space and then down that's all I have left to do so hoping to do that tomorrow and then after that I will film my bookshelf tour so that might happen tomorrow might happen Sunday I'm not really sure yet but for the next little bit I'm going to read some of this and then maybe a little bit of Cruel Prince and then I'm going to watch some Bob's Burgers because it's now on Netflix and probably fall asleep while watching that because I'm really really tired. <laughs> Saturday night so I am just editing this vlog I actually have a pretty nice setup here for some productivity tonight so I have my laptop here because I'm going to watch Bob's Burgers on there while I'm editing the vlog by editing the vlog here and then I've got a nice hot chocolate in this super adorable mug that I got for Christmas from the Disney store I actually have the Cheshire Cat version that matches and I've been looking for this one but when I looked I could only find it on Amazon as like being resold and it was like 50 bucks but then for whatever reason randomly they got them at Disney store so I got it for Christmas from my family thank you but I've had a pretty productive day I actually went through and I finished dusting and everything my entire room including taking all of the books off of my shelves and doing that so that was time consuming I'm sure you can imagine so I didn't get any filming done today I was kind of hoping to get my bookshelf tour at least some of it filmed but that didn't happen but I did actually come up with a really cool idea for a story just when I was randomly chopping water chestnuts for spinach dip and I'm actually really excited about it. I'm not sure if it's going to be something that I'll incorporate into my current work in progress or if it's going to be something that will be a new story. I have to still revisit what I've written which I'm just oh I'm so nervous about that so I'm hoping to do that later tonight but I'm actually working at five in the morning tomorrow now so I don't know if I will actually end up doing that but I would like to get some editing done so I'm gonna go and do that. So so I'm just wrapping up this week's reading vlog. I had a pretty good reading week, not so good of a writing week, but that's okay because next week is going to be better. So I ended up finishing two books total. So I finished Even the Darkest Stars by Heather Fawcett, which I gave a three out of five stars. And I finished The Thousandth Floor by Catherine McGee, which I gave a 3.5 or a 3.75 out of five stars, if you want to get real specific. In addition to that, I started quite a few things. So I started listening to the audiobook for The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham and I am about five hours out of seven into it. I also started reading The Cruel Prince by Holly Black and I am on page 126. Finally I dove into The Annotated Brothers Grimm and I ended up reading the first 10 fairy tales. So I read The Frog King, a fairy tale about a boy who left home to learn about fear, The Wolf and Seven Little Goats, The Twelve Brothers, Little Brother and Little Sister, Rapunzel, The Three Little Men in the Woods, Hansel and Gretel, The White Snake, and The Fisherman and His Wife. So I read all of those fairy tales as well as the accompanying annotation. So all in all I had a pretty good week. It was the first week where I was really getting back into things so I'm excited to be back to normal relatively and kind of come up with a plan on how I'm going to tackle writing for the rest of forever basically but we'll start with next week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading vlog and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!